Hi everyone, wanna create your own game but coding sounds a little bit harsh to you. Well, today we are going to go from a high level idea to a fully functional web game using only ChatGPT and Replit. No coding experience needed, just poor creativity and maybe a little bit of my guidance. First, head to ChatGPT to come up with the ideas for your game. For example, I want to create a web game like New York Times Waddle and Connections, so I will type in this prompt. And after ChatGPT come up with the ideas, choose one. And here I will go for what scramble race and then ask ChatGPT to give you the game mechanics using this prompt. So basically, ChatGPT will provide a more complicated set of game mechanics than we will want to develop in our first version. This is a good thing, but my advice is you should start with a simple first version of your game. This will make the initial code more manageable with fewer errors, and you can always add more features in the future. And now we will review all the game mechanics that ChatGPT has provided and explicitly instruct ones we don't need to be removed. And in addition, we will let ChatGPT know we want to buy a simpler first version of the game too. And once you have your game mechanics, ask ChatGPT to craft the HTML, CSS and JavaScript for your game. Okay, so now head over to Replit, click Start Building and sign up with your account. It's totally free. And then click Start Building with a template and choose the HTML and CSS and JSS template. Change the name here and also add in some description. For example, I will type what scramble race and for the description, I will type a what game. And then hit use template button here so now you can see on the left side panel here we have some files to develop and test our game these files names and types exactly match the code that ChatGPT has generated for us in the previous step so now go back to ChatGPT and copy the code of each file and paste it into the corresponding files in Red Replit. To be more specific, you when you have to copy the HTML code and paste it into the index.html file and CSS code to paste it into the style.css. So when you've pasted in your codes, hit that run button and your game will appear on the right side panel ready to test. Okay, so with the web view tab here, start testing your game as you were a player. Okay, then you can add some features and improve the design of your web game by entering your prompt into ChatGPT and let it generate an updated code for you and repeat the above process until you are satisfied with the result. So are you ready to unleash your inner game developer? Head down to the description box below for the prompts that I've used in our today's tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI tips.